Ready to drink? Yes. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Happy 2020, Biaheros! Bagong taon na, kaya perfect maglista ng panibagong goals, hindi ba? And speaking of goals, kung kasama riyan ang pagbiyahe, aba, sagot na namin yan. Usually, VIP lang yung umaakyat, uh, the presidents, or yung mga celebrities, katulad ni Will Smith a few years back. Actually, hindi nakakalula, okay siya. Let's start the year with some good eats. Bestseller nila, which is their uh, salted, uh, um, roasted Taiwan tilapia. Do you think uh, I can now try? Yes, yes, definitely. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Good. 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 Yeah. Stronger. Okay. Good. Yeah. You can get this one. Yes. This is the ginger. Yeah. Okay. Happy emoji in Taiwanese. And add some exercise. Pambawi sa mga nilang taka nating last year. Kulay na natin yung mga drawing yung plano, guys. Itong theme ng court ko ay we the pool. Different rooms have different themes. Yung isang room na to may slide. Bieros, kami muna ang taya. At sasagot ng inyong travel goals. Dito sa Taiwan! Hassle-free pa ang pagpunta sa Taiwan dahil hanggang July 2020, visa-free pa rin ang mga Pinoy. And the best way to enjoy the trip is to prep your itinerary. Dito kasi sa Taiwan, city at farm tours ang maaari nyo subukan. Masulit kung magkahiwalay na araw nyo gagawin ang dalawang tour na to. Kakain kasi sa oras kung magpapabalik-balik mula sa syudad, papunta sa mga kalapit na probinsya. At kung kagaya nyo kami na maraming gustong mapuntahan agad, pwede rin kayong umarkila ng sarili nyo sasakyan. sa ating city tour ay ang Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. Truly a must if uh, you're visiting Taiwan, one of the iconic landmarks of Taiwan. Uh, this is the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. Ilan sa mga makikita dito ang mga naging official state cars ni General Chiang Kai-shek, ang founder ng Bansang Taiwan. Biyahero tip! Kung sa umaga kayo pupunta dito, I suggest na last stop nyo dapat itong museum dahil dapat doon muna kayo sa main event. Alright, so we're on the fourth floor of the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall and this is one of the attractions dito sa Memorial Hall. Um, you see the big statue of General Chiang Kai-shek sitting down. Sa baba nun ay dalawang guards facing each other. Now, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., every hour, nagkakaroon ng changing of the guards. It's like like London, di ba? Um, parang it's, it's an attraction to see how the guards change. Wala pang 10 o'clock. Ang dami ng tao nag for the changing of the guards. So, let's just wait for a few minutes. Gya Hero Tip, kung gusto nyong manood ng changing of guards, mas maganda kung pupunta kayo ilang minuto bago ito magsimula para makakuha kayo ng magandang pwesto.
when I had the chief, um, Segura from their uniformity, uh, accurate movements. You have to think that this is probably the best five minute show that you'll see for free in Taiwan. So, must see. Another must on your city tour is going up the Taipei 101 Observatory. Bakit nga ba? Isa lang naman ang baboo-shaped building na to sa pinakamatataas na building sa buong mundo. Guided tour sa ang pwede niyong gawin dito. Kasama na riyan ang pagsakay sa kanilang high-speed elevator. 37 seconds. 37 seconds. Yeah, quite fast. We can well, just one breath. And then not breathe. And wait. And wait. And we're here. Yes? Okay. It's just as long as no one farts inside, I can... You can see there's timer, speed, height, and flow of a layer. And there's a red square. This is our location right now. Are you okay right now? Is everything okay? Are you sure? <laughs> First stop here at Taipei 101, the 89th floor observatory deck. Dinarayo ng mga turista ang palapag na to dahil narito raw ang magandang view sa ipinagmamalaki nilang chewed mask wind damper. Sa bigat nitong 728 tons, nagagawa nitong kontrahin ang malakas na hangin kapag may bagyo o kaya naman ay pagyugyug kapag may lindol. For our second stop, sasakay ulit ng elevator papuntang 92nd floor kung saan nakahanda na ang mga harness. Kailangan magsuot ng harness dahil ang last stop natin sa Taipei 101 ay ang kanilang open view deck sa 101st floor. Ito ang Skyline 460. First time here in Taipei 101 but it's our first time to even reach the 101 or 101st floor. Usually VIP lang yung umaakyat, uh, the presidents or yung mga celebrities, katulad ni Will Smith a few years back, but they just recently opened it to the public. From here, of course, 360 degree view of Taipei. Neighboring cities also, or provinces ng Taipei. Actually, hindi nakakalula, okay siya. Kasama sa fee ang photo op with a view of Taipei in the background. Perfect na souvenir! After a whole day of touring the city, it's time to chill. At dito pa rin sa Taipei, particular sa popular na Simending District, nakahanap kami ng kakaibang paraan ng pagre-relax. featured different types of massages and this is probably very different for me. Um, can you please explain um, what, what's happening and why the use of knives? Am I correct? Yeah. Okay, so uh, knife massage is actually uh, 2,500 years old oh. practice. So we're not talking about the sharp end. We're just talking about... We're talking about the sharp end. We're talking about the sharp but end. it's not sharp. But it's not sharp. It's not and it's not made out of iron. It's stainless steel. It's, oh, it's stainless steel. Oh. Let's end this city tour with one of the classics. How how ko? Classic bubble tea. Maraming hindi nakakalam na ang bubble tea nag originates sa Taiwan. In fact, the tea from bubble tea stands for Taiwan. Pula ko lang Susunod sa pwedeng subukan dito sa Taiwan ay ang kanilang leisure farm tours. Sa mga kalapit kasing probinsya ng Taipei, may mga bukirin na may iba't ibang pananim. Kumbaga sa Pilipinas, ito yung one town, one product. At dito sa Taiwan, isa ang leisure farm tour sa mga sumisikat na tourist activity ngayon. Halos dalawang oras ang biyay papunta sa Miaoli County. Dito ay pinagmamalaki ng isang farm ay ang produkto nilang luya. 
malamig ang klima dahil medyo mataas ang lugar na to. Sakto yan para sa pagpapatubo ng luya. Kailangan hukayin ng luya dahil isa itong root crop. Yes. Oh. Yeah? Oh, oh. Good, 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 good. Yeah, stronger. Okay, good. Yeah, you can get this one. Yes, this is the ginger. Yeah. Okay. Pagkatapos maguhay, maaari namang sumali sa cooking at baking class sa kanilang cafe. Pati ang ibang pagkain na sa menu nila, may luya rin. Talagang ginger is life rito. May ginger milk tea, ginger mochi, Yeah. Oh, I, I can taste. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Hmm. <laughs> mm. I love mochi and I love ginger. Oh. So I love ginger. Mochi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. A little spicy. Just a little. Just a little. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect lahat yan, lalo na para sa inyong health goals ngayong taon dahil ang luya ay nakapagbababa round ng blood sugar at cholesterol. From a ginger farm in the northwest, let's visit another vegetable farm this time in the northeast. Kapag sinabing hilagang silang ang parte ng Taiwan, isa ang probinsya ng Yilan sa mga kilala sa leisure farm tours. Medyo malayo, pinupuntahan ito ng mga turista dahil sa kanilang produktong spring onions o scallions. Our spring onions are very famous in Taiwan. In the morning, the wind will blow from the ocean, so the temperature is high. In the midnight, the wind will blow from the mountain, so it will be very cold. So because the temperature is different, make the spring onion more sweet. That's why we plant spring onion here. And this tool we call T-shape planter. This is a planter. We use this one to dig a hole. And to kill vampires. And <laughs> no. no. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, we plant the spring onion. We use spring onion. Okay. So we not use the seed. We use spring onion okay. to plant the spring. Uh, okay, I'll show you. We have to use this one to dig a hole. Oh. And every time we have to put. Oh, okay. Separate. We put one spring onion inside. Inside. Yes, like this. Right. And after three months, it will grow up. Let me Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mayaman pala sa fiber ang scallions, ba tamang-tama na panunaw sa mga nilantakan nating lechon at fruit salad last year? Iluto na natin yan! Iahalo yan sa spring onion pancakes. Pati sa green bean cakes. Happy emoji in Taiwanese. Add sa chili sauce and anchovies. I gotta be honest, this is, this on anything will make it really good. Yes. Amazing one. Mm, really good, this one. As is, it's already good. Yeah, With the anchovies and the, and the garlic and the pepper, yeah. this will. Yeah. Very good. Bojia! Bojia! Hindi lang naman for the vegetable farm sa makikita sa Taiwan. Sa Guangxin Leisure Farm sa probinsya pa rin ng Gilan, ang bida, tilapia! Um, we have a fresh water pond here kung saan nakatira yung mga isda. Kasama na dyan yung mga tilapia na sure yung kakainin natin ngayon. Uh, apparently, this place is very known for their fresh water. But going back to the fish that we they just cooked, ito yung uh, bestseller nila, which is their uh, salted, uh, um, roasted Taiwan tilapia. Yung ginagawa na natin sa Pilipinas, actually, it's not, it's, it's not very new, no? but uh, what they do is, yung fish, lalagay sila ng maraming salt, 
sa labas, tapos nun binibake nila. Pretty much it. This is, uh, this is our lunch. Veggies, a couple of seafood, you got your shrimp, you got your duck, chicken. And I think this is sweet and sour pork. Classic. And dayo. Ayo kain, kaya hanap naman tayo ng panulak dito sa ilan. Sakto dahil sa ilang parte ng probinsyang ito, tea o tsaa ang pangunahing produkto. Bago natin tikpan ang tsaa nila, bakit hindi muna tayo gumawa ng tsaa from scratch? DIY tea making ang kasama sa ilang packages ng kanilang farm tours dito. Dadalhin nila kayo sa tea farm para turuan ng tea leaves picking. Ano karami ang mapipitas nyo, yun mismo ang magagawa nyo yung tsaa na pwedeng iwi. Ituturo din nila kung paano ang proseso ng paggawa ng green oolong at black tea mula sa mga shuan leaves na napitas nyo. ang kadalasang itinuturong gawin dito dahil kayang matapos ang buong proseso sa loob ng dalawang oras. Step 1. Pan frying ng mga dahon. Kapag lumabas na ang aroma ng dahon, saka naman sisimula ng step 2, ang rolling. At third and last step, drying sa kanilang makina. Lang, di ba? Kaya kaya. Meron din silang chang pwedeng kainin sa dessert. Do it yourself green tea ice cream making naman ang pakulo nila dito. size lang to para ka lang nagzumba na may reward pang ice cream pagkatapos magpapawis. It's I I it's just too hard. <laughs> I, I can't. Uh, and actually, my major my own. So, kung kago nyo to, mas maganda kapag dumi nyo ng green tea. Sulitin nyo na, chong. Libre naman eh, yung green tea. Mm. Pagkatapos, magliwaliw sa bukid buong araw. Parang ang sarap magpahinga, no? Hindi yan problema rito sa yilan. Dahil kahit puro bukid, ay may matutulugan pa rin. Pero sa gitna ng bukid. Good morning, mga viejero. Welcome to my room. One of the uh, a very playful, colorful, family-friendly, kid-friendly. Pagpasok mo palang nagitam na kagad yun. Wallpaper. Very colorful. I think itong theme ng court ko ay Winnie the Pooh. Different rooms have different themes. 
Yung isang room na to, may slide. This is a hot water dispenser, but unfortunately, I forgot to put Instant hot water for you. So you can drink your tea, your coffee, or whatever. Bonus! Skylight! Yeah! It's a moon roof. Kung tawagin kapag, uh, kapag nasa kotse ka. Buksan nga natin. Usually kasi kapag hindi cloudy, kapag kita mo yung very clear yung skies, makikita mo yung stars when you're lying in your bed. It's pretty cool. Hold on. My left. Pala yan. Ganda lang ng contrast dahil. Bright pink! Tapos dito, green. I love it. There you go. See, this is just a fraction of their uh, farmlands. Sulitin na natin ang hilan. Kahit sa gabi, mayroon pa rin tayong pwedeng puntahan. So, nandito tayo ngayon sa Lodong Night Market. At yung Lodong apparently is the smallest town dito sa Taiwan. And what's so special about this night market is that yung mga food stalls dito or yung mga ino offer nila na pagkain dito sa mga stalls ay dito lang pwedeng makuha dito lang pwedeng mabili that's why we're here and it's already 8:15 p.m. we are so starving so i can't wait all right so hindi tayo sa isang one of the thousands of stalls here no but uh, apparently Yung uh, tour guide namin dito kami nila dahil yung recipe or yung stall na to has been here for for, for 50 years. So we're, we ordered this one which is kauja. It's a mixture of pork, chicken and shrimp. Now this one is the manpuro. It's like it's pork and it's deep fried. They're actually both are deep fried. And then it has like a crispy outside na medyo salty and sweet. Pork strips wrapped in batter, and it's just sweet. Deep fried. After maluto, it's just a salt. Nakayak. Salap siya. Nakayak. Nakayak lang, but it's good. Wait a minute. Okay. It's a bit fluffy. So this is medyo on the soft side, you know. Not if it's uh, it's just uh, uh, freshly cooked, deep fried, sobrang juicy pa sa loob, sobrang init. But if ever you're gonna first taste one, taste this first because yung taste nyan mas malasa. Maliit lang ang night market na to. Kayang-kaya itong maikot in 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, so halo-halo na to. Minced fish, minced pork with cabbage, with carrots. Uh, Isipin mo na lang parang longganisa. Ang tikim niya. Aha! Tama producer namin. Ikiyam. Saktong panghapunan na ang stall hopping dito, guys. Hello. Barbecue pork. I don't know, but there's tofu. And there's a bit of veggies. And then, naglagay siya ng konting sauce. So, might as well try. Mmm. Dahil hindi siya dito, alam niyo na yung lasa. Tofu. Sausage. 
I think this is coriander. So yeah. <laughs> it tastes fresh because of the coriander. It's a good sauce actually. If you prefer something hot, something warm, maybe it's better to have other deep fried night market stalls, food stalls. Yeah, actually, I'll look for more of that. This is what I got from that stall. Na apparently, it's like dough, but it's deep fried. But in the it's full of scallions. And I think that's like minced beef or minced pork, but anyway. Oh, minced pork. Nah, look up. My tour guide. It's my tour guide. He will help me. So this is the original sauce. Not yeah, so this, spicy first. Yeah, this is the original okay. sauce. Okay. Okay. I'll try. Good, Caleb. Hi. How's your guy? Mmm. Yeah. Go. Good. So this is the spicy. Okay. Here. Okay. okay. This is good. Nice. Very good. Oh yeah, I love it. Mmm. Better with sauce. Better if you pour both sauces. The sweet, definitely savory, and then a bit chili. Enjoying. Mmm. Hindi kompleto ang kahit anong biyahe kung walang bitbit na pasalubong. At para sa ating Taiwan trip, iba't ibang klase ang pwede. Isa na riyan ang do-it-yourself indigo dye activity. Good morning. Ciao. Okay. Okay. Um, this is for pattern. For pattern, yes. And you line. Okay. Gamit lang ang popsicle sticks at rubber bands, makagagawa na rin kayo ng mga patterns sa scarf o t-shirt. Sigurado matutuwa ang pagbibigyan nyo ng ganitong pasalubong, guys. Handmade with love talaga. Am I doing it right? Some are here and some, some here and some here, right? Yes. Yes? Uh huh. I don't know how to do this, my God. Can? Can. Uh, Tapos ko yung pattern sa tela. Pwede nang magdai. Massage five minutes. So I look at the clock. For this particular uh, dyeing process, dyeing, you know, it's living. <laughs> no, but uh, they use malan leaves na readily available. Kung saan yan, 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 yan. Actually, nagpapanggap lang kami, hindi namin alam kung anong leaves yan, pero para lang mapasok namin itong segment na ito. Hindi alam ko Malan leaves talaga yan. What they do is, um, they put malan leaves, uh, they put water, they scoop out the, the rotten, Malan leaves. They put in lime water. After that, para magkaroon ng konting oxidation, they put dye liquor. Now after that, checha kumune ang aking kodigo sa taas. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Ah, so they discharge wastewater, and then after that, lalabas na yung indigo color. Okay. 
over there. Squeeze it? No. 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 Okay. Wash. Just wash? Yeah. Okay. Apat na beses gagawin ang paglublob ng tela sa dye mixture at paghuhugas nito sa tubig. Saka ito ilalagay sa spinner para mas mabilis matuyo. To dry? Yes. How many minutes? One minute. One minute only? Okay. Screech! Okay. Nice. Huh? Like it. Okay. Medyo artsy ang pasalubong natin kanina. Ngayon naman, doon tayo sa mas malapit kay Mother Nature. Dito sa leisure farm na to, mga halamang nilalagay sa aquarium at iba pang aquatic plants ang makikita. Sa malawak na palayan, o palaisdaan na yan nila pinatutubo ang mga halaman. And for your pasalubong, tada! Plant in a bottle. So mga bihara na dito ngayon sa Shenyang Leisure Farm dito sa Yuen San Town ng Ilan Province. Uh, gagawin natin ngayon ay ang kanilang DIY water plant bottling, no? Kasi parang hina-highlight yata nila dito sa sa part ng Ilan ay ang kanilang stream or yung water because they're rich in this type of uh, uh, body of water. So, uh, ang gagawin natin ngayon ay uh, magbabottle tayo ng water plants. What do we do first? We first choose three strip and put in the bottle. Okay, three. Sorry. Okay, one. One, two, three. Two. Finish it. Finish. Last one. Here. Okay. Done. Yeah. All right. That's pretty fast. That's like less than five minutes. Good job. It's captivating. It's uh, mind-boggling. It's uh, breathtaking. No, no, no. I guess, um, seriously speaking, titas out there. Uh, naturally, you know, the sound of water makes you very relaxed. So, you know, um, you know, you mix it up with this type of DIY activity na the major therapeutic. So, you know, even though it's a, it's a fast activity to do, some things are meant to be done slow because you want to prolong, you know, the that therapeutic effect. <laughs> so. Not enough pasalubong from Taiwan? No worries! Maraming edible pasalubong dito, Bieros. At tulad ng ibang pasalubong natin kanina, mas nagiging espesyal ito kapag tayo mismo ang gagawa. Dito sa farm na to, itinuturo nila kung paano gumawa ng isang klase ng candy mula sa dragon beard o dahon ng sayote. So what we are going to do, cannot break. Okay, it's hard though. We need to a little make it softer. Yeah, because your hands have a temperature. So make it so turn and then roll it, roll it. In the end, we need to make like silk like. Yeah, like silk like. After 200 hours? <laughs> silk like? Nako, parang hindi maganda ang pakiramdam ko sa activity na to, ah. Kasing tigas ng maliit na bato ang candy na to bago maging malasin ulit. <laughs> Paano kaya? Oh, ah, wow, 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 can you see? No. Gets agad ni Mr. Chung ang plano ko ah. Try to squeeze it like this flat, then we use scissors to make a hole in the center. So make the hole wider. So while you are making wider, so remember this use this powder. 
Nakatutulong ang powder na yan with green tea para mas mabatak. Ang matigas na candy na to. Para siyang pasta ba? Anong lang? Asa na? Asa na yung inyong work? Ay, imposible. What the? Nakaka-pressure naman itong si Manong. Kahit alam kong 40 ko ang mga ganito, iba talaga ang pakirandam ko eh. Lalaban pa rin ako. Yeah! Okay. Sabi ko na nga eh, papalpak. <laughs> Kinabahan lang, kayo naman. Papalamanan pa yan ng mani at toasted sesame seeds. One thing's for sure, chewy. Chewy. Hindi siya sobrang tamis. Hindi siya sobrang tamis. Nalalasama yung peanut. Siyempre, nalalasama yung peanut. Parang yung mga kakanina, sure, habol mo yung tamis. Fine. Pero iba yung nagbibigay sa'yo ng texture kapag kumakain ka ng, sabihin na natin, dinner rolls sa tinapay, sa mga mahihilig sa tinapay. Nahanap mo yung, yung muya. Ito yun, ganito rin yun. Buche? Ganon? Pwede. Pwede yung buche. Amoy buche. Eh, kiki. Ano cotton candy? Parang cotton candy. Nadali mo. Pasalubong made with love. Ay, yes! Pero syempre, hindi natin pwede makalimutan yung pasalubong na siguradong magugustuhan ng iyong loved ones. Kahit ilang beses na akong bumalik sa Taiwan, Never ever go home to Manila without this pasalubo. And then one whole piece of pineapple cake. Just enjoy the fresh one. Feel warm. Para sa kukompleto ng inyong Taiwan trip, sure, dapat maraming memorable photos. At dito, may mga lugar na tila ginawa para riyan. Alright, mga biyaro, nandito tayo ngayon sa very colorful Rainbow Village. Na, back in the day, hindi colorful. Isa lang to sa mga uh, bahay na binigay ng gobyerno sa mga war veterans galing mainland China. Uh, nangyari, yung si Mr. Huang, yung war veteran, parang naging artistic. Nakita ito mga estudyante na malapit at uh, bukod sa or para hindi ma-demolish ng gobyerno yung mga bahay na to na ginagawa nila sa mga ibang war veteran homes nagprotest ang mga estudyante dahil nakita nila na maraming ang bumibisita mga uh, estudyante at mga turista anyway uh, dahil dyan uh, naging tourist destination to ngayon sa Taichung which is the center of Taiwan and uh, if you come here don't forget to bring your camera. Huling hirit na, and we save the best for last. Nagsasearch din kami ng mga pupuntahan na lugar dito sa Taiwan. Magtalagang uh, attractions, so sinadya namin siya. Galing kami north. Galing kong Taipei. Ako galing ng Manila. <laughs> Kita nyo naman kung gaano kakulay dito. Perfect yan para sa mga social media flexes nyo. Enjoy yung mga, tignan yung mga views. Ayun, lalo na pag mahilig ka talaga sa mga flowers. Nakakarig lang. Dami din mga Pinoy dito. 
sa akin biyay ni Drew Team. Kulang kapag picture-picture lang. How you do it, Bieros? Sabi nga nila, experience is one of the best gifts you can give to yourself. Kaya siguro, naisasama na ang pagbiay sa mga hashtag goals ngayon. So, if you have the chance, go out, explore, make time to achieve your travel goals. Sa Taiwan man, o kahit sa ang parte ng mundo. <laughs> 